we're just gonna be going in circles. You, you know? know, the only way the only way we can wake people up is by doing what we're doing. But we're talking on a medium which is owned by the people who control in the first place. Just like, no. but this is how evil works. You can sit in front of the devil, and the devil can sit here and tell you exactly what he's gonna do to you. And you sit and listen, have a cup of coffee with him sit back and enjoy the conversation he's just told you his plans on destroying you and you look at it like well that was a nice conversation you go on about your business and that's how the devil works he will sit there and tell you his exact plans and his game is can they figure it out you know what I mean what happened in that? that's what happened in your movie uh, uh, what is it this is England yeah where, where the dude he told him he told him what he was gonna do yeah he pretty much told him he's gonna, gonna kill your <laughs> back ass <laughs> but, <laughs> so but, in the end you get you get what you you get what you deserve mm, but, but see that's like a, like it's so hear something and not take responsibility like like you hearing me telling you we need to take our money out of these banks because they planning on collapsing it anyway. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, um, we just collapse it and be prepared at the same time. You can see if they hear collapse that it and take responsibility and, and do what you got to do off of, of somebody forewarning you, then you deserve what you get. But what? the sad thing mm -hmm. is, it's like like I said in the earlier video, century itself. It's not about self right now, you know. So if you if you just blow it off, it's gonna hurt everyone as a whole, and that's why. They say they say that they tell us what they're gonna do to us every time. They show us in movies what's gonna happen before it happens. Oh, and they'll be even as bold as just to write a, a book on it and tell you straight up in there. Yeah, but see, this Rockefeller, the thing is, Rockefeller done wrote books where he praises the the media and he says, "Oh, I'm thankful for the media because if we didn't have the media." Uh, do this and that, and it, not working for us. You know, our we wouldn't been able to push our agenda this far. You know, he straight up said in his books. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. These people will tell you exactly what they're gonna do in the book. They don't even have to put it in the movie. You know, mm -hmm. they do that too. You know, it's all types of, uh, of forms you can find this different information in. But they will blatantly tell you in their book. Go read one of their books. Like I said, that uh, what was his name? The big new Brzezinski. He wrote yeah. books. You know. Yeah, and I mean, he, the, he said it the, in, the control you know, has got to the point. You know, he, they say that stuff. They're not scared, you know. Yeah, they're not scared because in the no, end, they know how they know that they they methods of controlling have worked so good that they could flat out just come out and say it, and they want nobody. You probably blow them off like uh, just another, just yeah. another trillionaire. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> another but, trillionaire. But the thing when they tell us these stories of the truth and everything, like you said, we have been so programmed and washed and shit and all this and that shit, but. We don't care. I, I truly tell you, if they came out and said, you know what, we want, we, we got a world, one world finna jump off, we wouldn't care. Nobody would even give a fuck. As long as they, one world, cool, as long as I ain't fuck with it's cool. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. People wouldn't care if there was one world government. The thing is, the only problem with a one world government is it would be run by the same people running the governments now. That's the only problem because people can see what's going down now. Can you imagine if it's one world government? Mm -hmm. You know, you there wouldn't be no reason for war. It's one country. See what I'm saying? So as long as you got the right people running things, you could have a one world government. You know? Yeah, I think it would be but, great yeah, if people use their resources to help be one, one another. Anyway, but the one world government I'm talking about is going to be more on a conscious level. You know, it's not yeah. going to be on this fake ass. Uh, yeah, uh, you go to work for me for the rest of your goddamn life shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, the society is not going to be in that form, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's going to be more on the spiritual. Like, well, see, that's another thing. Is like, a lot of people... If you, wanted to go, if you wanted to go live here, you could do this and you could do that as long as you, you work there. You could get this and you can get that. That's what's actually, I see, you know, coming into fruition once yeah. these fake-ass bankers out of here, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be a society where you're able to do what you want, and the different technologies are suppressed right now, them things are just going to take off, there's, there's yeah. technologies out there right now that would allow you, like we're saying, to, to, to power a car on water, or yeah. whatever you need to do it. To feed a fucking city, you know, to, to okay. feed people, Cause like in my world, you know, in my world, alright, remember that, remember that one movie you hooked me up on? And we was watching it, and it was about uh, Operation Genesis or some shit like that, remember? And it was talking about a one-world government, uh, resource-based government. 
And that works for me. If I know that the people in my town need electricity, I'm going to work at the power oh, plant oh, once oh, a week. Right, guys. Yeah. Like guys the Dendum. Yeah. yeah. Check that out too. Like guys the Dendum. And I mean it's like the, the overall human consciousness is failed. It's failed. We we don't want to evolve as a species. Because if we wanted to evolve, we would already got rid of the tyrants. Instead the tyrants expand. Oh, I just don't think we see it as a possibility when it is, you know, we've been programmed not to not to think that we could do certain things when in actuality we can do whatever we want. You know, you can do whatever your mind is capable of thinking. We yeah. just don't know how to do it yet, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. our brain has been suppressed just like the technology has been suppressed. If it was a car that can run on water, you know, that's somebody not making money, you know? Exactly. They suppress that shit. They suppress that. They suppress zero point energy and all of that different energy they got coming out now. They, mm -hmm. they, they saying they on the verge of making a breakthrough. Man, it's been broke through, you know what I'm saying? They just ain't putting it out because they don't know how to make money off of it. But once, that's another thing. Huh? If, once they gone, it ain't gonna be no it ain't gonna be no worries about making money, you know. So no, see, that's the point. Know. It's like to earn it's about you have, experience. You have to earn to succeed here in, in this country. But if people are set against you to fix it so you can't earn, that's fucked up. But let me go let me go somewhere else real quick. Now I got a ticket not too long ago, a traffic ticket. Right before all the little yeah. taser shit went down, I got a ticket. They took my driver's license and I couldn't pay the ticket. Why well, couldn't I pay the ticket? I can pay the ticket. I could not go get the ticket written off because I did not have a driver's license. They just sent me a bill for six hundred ninety-five dollars for a ticket that they prevented me from being able to take care of. The same ticket that when I was going through my taser shit, the judge saw and threw out of court. How can one judge throw something out of court and they say, "Well, nah, we're not listening to her. Fuck her." How could you be elected a judge in America when you give a court order, your court order don't mean shit to the law? What is the law when a judge gives a court order for something to happen and, you know, hey, because the county is running out of money, I right, fuck it, throw that out. We're going to charge him $645 for a ticket that we prevented him from being able to, to fix. Uh -huh. And that's where I'm at with that, but, you know, I told you I just got my little uh, retirement. That's what I'm calling it retirement. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I told you that shit just wasn't happening. And then I get a letter saying they're going to give me less money. And blah, blah, blah. That's fine. But for this county and this country to allow a judge, you know, the judge is supposed to be the highest shit in America. The judge tells the police, give this man his driver's license back. They told the judge, fuck you. They making me pay for something. They prevented me from fixing. I can't go complain about it. I'm already sent to collections. Now I got a letter saying they might try to take my driver's license. That's just the system's way of keeping somebody underfoot. I beat them in a the court of law. Oh, and you where your place is. Yeah. I beat them in a the court of law and they still gonna fuck me. Because I beat them. O.J. Simpson beat them and now everybody wants to change laws. Remember OJ won his case? They changed shit up. But the big rich corporation that takes millions of dollars from people, got families, men committing suicide, killing their whole families because he lost a job, but you're not going to charge that CEO shit. The CEO don't have to pay shit. As a matter of fact, the CEO runs the company into the ground and walks away with $125 million. Is it because he did a bad job? No. It's because he did what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to run the company in the ground, and they're giving him money as a payoff so he can survive when they collapse everything. And the people fail to realize shit like that. These people who give away millions and millions and billions of dollars are giving these people money knowing they're going to pull the plug. So then when they do their recalculation, well, you got enough money to survive. You got enough new credits. What are we gonna be? What, what is the new fund money gonna look like when they collapse the dollar? We're gonna go to the Amero. No, it's gonna be on computer. It's gonna be all computer. You know what I'm saying? No, it's but I, from what I gather, you know what I'm saying. They gonna they want it to be. You know, you ever heard of the the RFID? Or oh yeah, they want to try to do that. Whatever that chip is, you know what I'm saying. They want to put it in that so that they can 